Hey there. Today I'm going to take a quick look at TestFit's parking configurator. With TestFit, you can solve multiple different parking typologies, including surface parking, structured fill parking, and structured rectangular parking. Today I'm going to demonstrate our surface parking configurator by optimizing a retail site and then making some manual edits to dial it in for our needs. So first I'm going to go ahead and define our site. In the left toolbar, I will select draw site. You could define it by parcels as well. And then in the canvas, I'm going to define the boundaries of our site. Make a couple tweaks. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve the entire site as surface parking. To do that, in the nav tree next to site A, we'll select this little building icon. And then we're going to go ahead and select our surface parking preset. Next, we're going to introduce our retail building. So to do that, in the left toolbar, we're going to add a space, which is this three-dimensional cube here. I'm going to toggle on a line drawing so we get a nice rectangular building with 90-degree angles. Let's bring that size down a bit. And then in the properties panel, I'm going to create an offset for that building. Let's set that to 15 feet. Now let's introduce the retail building to the surface parking lot. You can see as I drag the building around the lot, the layout as well as the stall count, which is down here, is updating automatically. That's what makes our parking configurator so powerful. As you make adjustments, small or large, we automatically adjust the layout as well as automatically count those parking stalls. So let's go ahead and place that building here. I'm gonna manipulate that size just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so this is a decent start. We need to do a few more things to optimize this lot for our needs. The first thing you'll notice is that these parking rows here are running parallel to the entrance of this retail building. We need them running perpendicular so we have nice walking lanes for customers to access the entrance. So what we're going to do is in the nav tree, we're going to select surface parking. And then in the properties panel, you'll see a selection for row axis and we can change the row axis. So let's click that. And then you're going to see in canvas, those rows automatically orient perpendicular to the entrance, and now we have those nice walking lanes. Next, we need to add a few more access points. We already have one on the site that was created automatically when we generated that surface parking lot, but we need to add a few more. To do that, in the nav tree next to surface parking, we'll click the three dots and select add access. We can then manually manipulate the size of that access point, let's make it 30 feet. And then once that's created, we can duplicate that right on canvas and then drag the new access points to the locations that we need them. Great. So this is getting closer. What you'll notice though is we have a parking requirement of 614. And we only have 547 stalls. So we need to do a few things to optimize this site further and get more stalls out of this surface parking lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on surface parking, and then I'm going to go down to circulation in the properties panel. First, I'm going to bring that drive aisle width down a little bit. It's currently at 24 feet. Let's bring it to 22 feet. So that gets us to 555 stalls. Next, let's reduce the drive aisle turn radius a little bit. All right, so that's a 21 feet, and we now have 567 stalls. Now, we still have a little ways to go, so let's make a few more edits. In the nav tree, let's click stalls, and then we're gonna edit the stall width as well as the stall depth. So let's bring the stall width down to eight feet, six inches, and then that stall depth, we're gonna bring down to 17 and a half feet. 
All right, so you can see that we've now met that minimum parking requirement. We needed 614 stalls and we have 630. The last thing I'm gonna do is edit the location of our ADA stalls right on Canvas. as well as those compact stalls. All right, so that looks pretty good. We've created a fully optimized surface parking lot for this retail site and met our minimum parking requirement by making manual edits to the circulation and the stall size, as well as that row axis. If you'd like to learn more about TestFit, Subscribe to our channel and visit us at www.testfit.io to get started for free. Have a great day.